Make an assembly from a multi-body part using save bodies. So in this case we are working in a part file with several bodies. The bodies here we have already renamed them so they have good name and that means that we could go for a feature to add here in the tree called save bodies. So we go and insert in the end of the tree feature save bodies and that means that we will get individual parts for every single body and because we have renamed we could click on auto assign names and if you don't like the naming here you could go in here and tweak the naming I would like to propagate the visual properties into the assembly because we have already put some nice colors on this so I mark propagate propagate visual properties we would like to create an assembly so I will browse to a location and this is the mouse folder and I will give it a name here mouse assembly I'll put in TL there save so we will create an assembly and now we can choose OK at this point it seems like the template we're using is having a different kind of unit here it could be because we have a template that is not the best. It has a different unit. So I have to choose change and I need to do it seven times because we have seven bodies. And usually this is not an issue. And now it's making those tiny files and making an assembly in the background. And here we could see in the bottom of the tree that we have save bodies. So where is the assembly? Yep. You go for window and then you could jump to the brand new assembly. So let's have a look at it. So here we have an assembly. And the advantage with an assembly is that we could choose different parts and exchange them. Or maybe we would like to hide them. Or maybe you would like to explode this into different pieces. Then you could easily do that in an assembly. So that's why we have an assembly. And of course, you might have different alternative, dis different configurations. So here in the assembly, we have a connection to the original file. And we could make a test here. If you jump back to the original mouse, we might even have the windows side by side. So I go for window and tile vertically. And to the right here, we could see the assembly. Let's look at that tiny blue, uh, yellow blue icon, mouse assembly. And here we have the original part. So if we go into the original part here and, and do an adjustment, so if I click on the pattern, we could find it in the tree, I right click and choose edit. So let's say we would like to have fewer numbers instead of 12, maybe just eight cutouts. So if we accept that, it will update the original master model. And when the update is done, Something is happening here in the assembly and I need to click here once to have it showing it graphically. And then we can so see that the pattern is also updated here. So we have a direct link here between these two. Make an assembly from a multi-body part with save bodies. Later on we will also see another possibility to use something called configurations. There is several ways of doing this.